We are live from Oracle Park here on a Tuesday night. Tonight, the second of three to start the week between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the San Francisco Giants. It's time for Giants baseball. Next. Jeff Samarja, the right-hander out of Indiana, will be doing the pitching in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, this guy's done a real good job on the year keeping the opponent's batting average down. Both righties and lefties coming into this one, hitting under 250 against this guy. He's been good all season long. Arizona. At the plate, he'll tomorrow the Vargas. Stop. He'll get he'll us started in this one under the Vargas. lights. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Strike taken as that one catches the outer part of the plate. Guys, you take a look at the Giants as they begin play here tonight. They come into this one fresh off a victory last time out that ended a six-game losing streak. Yeah, Matty V. And you know what, d -Roll, This is when you really get tested. They, they call it the dog days of August for a reason. When you're struggling like this team is right now, the games get long, the schedule gets long, and you start looking forward towards the end of the season. Yeah, but you got to find a way, Dan. You know as well as I do. you got to look in the mirror. You're playing for the way more, number. especially the way this team is underachieved. You got to keep grinding. You got to find a way to put your foot on the gas and show up to the yard every day ready to go. With that, the batting order for the visiting Arizona Diamondbacks. Who's the one to watch, Dan? You know, I'm really impressed with what Patel Marte is doing. This guy knows how to drive in runs. Had over 25 runs batted in last month. You've got to pay attention to how he goes about it. Ground balls, fly balls, home runs. Any way to drive it a run, and that's what he's doing. He tries to have a major impact on every game he plays in. Temperature here at game time, 61 degrees. Fouled off. LaCastro, a former Dodger. He was acquired via trade last year. Yeah, this guy's fully settled in with this ball club right now. Knows what the manager and coaching staff expect from him. Is not taken aback by anything. He's been through the spring training process and gotten to know everybody in this organization top to bottom. Count remains at 0-2. Bases are empty, one man out. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you... Stepping into the box, Joey Bart. Over oh, one here in the early going. The first baseman, Joey Bart. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Pence leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Bart is, of course, a highly regarded catcher, and it's really fun to watch him control the game behind the plate, not only with his glove work, but with the arm as well. He's got a cannon, and it's in the head of opposing base runners every night. Certainly a valuable guy to have on your squad. Now the 2-1 is looked at off the plate for a ball. This is where you cash your checks right here. 3-1, you're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. Here comes the 3-1 pitch. 3-2. and two. All right, 3-2 count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. Ground ball right side. Marte gloves it. Oh, what a stop. Hey, now. Three thumbs up here in the booth following this gorgeous play at second base. Three innings in the books. Still no score on the show. So striding forward. Hey, Leading off for the Diamondback. The right field. Number 16. Three. Tim. Ah. 
Here's Buster Posey now. Lifetime numbers against Robbie Ray. He's three for 15. He's taken him deep once. Has a look. Now the pitch. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And that's through into left to base hit. And they'll get it in quickly. It's first and third now with nobody out. This is their time right here. This starting pitcher has been on now point back. all Second day. Runs base. have been at a premium. Wilbur. They have an opportunity to do Wilbur. something special right here. Into the box, Wilmer Flores. And on the first pitch, he hits it in the air to right. Catch is made here in right, and here comes the runner from third. And he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ball game. This has pretty Go much been a pitcher's duel so far, so yeah, any right. way you can score a run in a sack fly right there brings home the first run of the game here in the middle innings. From the stretch. A fastball oh, off the plate away. It's ball one. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. Hit in the air down the right field line. And foul. The 1 1. And it's fouled away. Posey, base runner at first with one out. Ball two. Hey, he looked like he was a little bit out in front on that breaking ball right there. The body can go a little bit. If he was able to keep his hands back a little bit, he might have been able to. Oh, and he can't reel it in out there. Ah, but he'll recover in time to get the lead runner at second. So a heads-up play there to get that second out. Now battle. On to first, but Double not in one. time as he's in there ahead of the throw. Halfway to 100 pitches. Here it is. Well behind that fastball. It's a swinging strike. I'm interested to watch this next pitch right here. He got a swing on a high fastball. I wonder if he's going to pull the old police sack and climb the ladder. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Line drive to center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And that ends the inning. Striding in once again, Christian Walker. A base hit in his first trip. Christian Walker. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first out. All right, so time for the Giants' road to the now show report it. as we okay. see a couple of prospects who are playing very well in the upper minors. Let's play ball. Out. Three. Three. One away here with the bases empty. And in to hit Denver next, Steelers. the speedy Double presence Steelers. of Billy Hamilton. Billy Hamilton. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Line towards center field. And he will make the play out there. And there are two away now. The right fielder, number eight, Hunter Pence. Here's the right fielder, Hunter Pence. Play ball. Three. 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 Out. 
Your attention, please. Into the box now, Mike Nostremski. He's newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Line to the right side. Locastro is there, and he'll put it away to retire the side. Giants leave one. They're down 2-1. Tyler Rogers is going to come on in relief as he'll be making his 20th appearance Number of the season. 71. Tyler. Let's play ball. Roger. He's hitting for the Diamondback. Jake Lamb standing in now. And he's now getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after Jake. entering off the bench just Lamb. a little bit ago. Ah. Hits the bottom of the strike zone here with the sinker. Oh, strike down. one. One and one the count to Jake Lamb. And a ball and two strikes to the Diamondbacks pitcher. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Up next for the Diamondbacks. So stepping in, Hildemaro Vargas, and he's coming off a two-run homer his last time around. First delivery to him on the way, and this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. You know, guys, sometimes guys don't like pulling the trigger. Oh, oh, they want to see something go by, calibrate the speed, calibrate the break, and then make their adjustments off that. Maybe that's the case right here. From the belt, the pitch. On a line to shortstop, but the runner is back to avoid the double play. Now batter, right fielder, Tim McCaffrey. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Now pitching for the Diamondback, number 50. So digging in now, Joey Bart. He now got on top of one and was a ground out man. victim last time. Joey. Outfield Bart. in the no doubles defense. Now the first pitch. And a called strike All down one. in the zone. Nothing in one. This offense is going to have to find a way to get going. It's happened in the past. Every team goes through it where everyone seems to fall into a funk at the same time. Everyone needs to relax and not try and be the hero and just start getting the leadoff guy on. Now the one and one pitch is a fastball that misses. Hit hard to short. Vargas is there. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Giants are down one, two, three. Our score remains two to one. Patel Marte leading off for the Dodgers. Diamondback. Play ball. Yeah. The second baseman. Patel Marte. Now to the plate, Christian Walker. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Now the 1-0. Sinks below the knees, taken for a ball. Boy, this is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like this. 2-0 count. We'll see right here if he lays one in there to give him a pitch to swing at. Bases are empty here with two men out. 
And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. And he fouls this one off. He's set. Here's the 2 2. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at bat if they want to get back in this thing. So one run on one hit, which was the home run. No error. Archie Bradley enters the game to finish this one off here in the bottom of the ninth. Number 25, Archie Bradley. In is the third baseman, Evan Longoria. Head-to-head well, -head numbers against the Archie Bradley. Baseman. He's just two Evan. for 12. Longoria. Here comes the first pitch. Lying to the right side. But this will be gloved out there at second as he didn't have far to go for the out. The Digging in once Buster. again, Buster Posey. Buster. He was a ground-out victim last Posey. time up. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. This one's down to third. Oh, look at the dive. The throw. He's out. Up next for the Giants. Great reaction from on that one. Back. And a good job to Will get down burn. on the ground in time Warren. to smother it. Still had to get up and make a throw. And, of course, he did that, too. Standing in now, Wilmer Flores. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Hit hard towards center. And that is in there for a two-out base knock. So the bottom of the ninth is still alive after the two-out success. And that fires me up right there. What a clutch now A.B., batting. a two-out single to get there the tying is. run to the plate. That's Whoa. all you can ask for. Brandon Belt will be called upon Speaking here to hit the with the game on the line. Number nine, Brandon Belt. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 1. He'll start this one at 274. Nine homers and 29 driven in. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. One one Pitch taken, several inches below the zone, in fact. Grounded to third. And Belt is aboard. It's a base hit. Boy, after that base knock right there, yeah, B-Roll, he extends his Double hitting streak one. to seven games. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things right. He's keeping that front shoulder tucked, staying inside the ball, not trying to do too much. Brandon Crawford will start to loosen up in the on-deck circle as he'll bat with two on and two out Double here. 35. Brandon Crawford. Swung on and missed for the first strike. Head-to-head -head numbers against Archie Bradley. Comes in with six hits in 30 at-bats. Here's a fly ball heading for the alley. Outfielders give chase, but they're not going to get there. It's down for extra bases. And the runner will score from second. Now the relay home. He's safe at the plate. And we are tied here in the bottom of the ninth.
Late inning problems have Don't doomed this it. team all season. Tyler. It's a hallmark of a losing Tucker. club, not being able to hold a lead. And here's another example of the bullpen serving up the tying run here in the late innings. Alex Dickerson will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 12, Alex Dickerson. Fouled away. And he's got a chance to bring in the winning run. The question is whether they'll even pitch to him. But disaster has already struck here in the bottom of inning number nine as two runs come across and they'll have to work a little longer to try and pull this one out on the road. Nine can't decide a winner. We'll move ahead to the tenth and we are all Your tied at three please. apiece. Brandon Belt will stay in the ball game now and take now over in left, left field. field. Number nine. Brandon, Brandon Crawford Brandon. will stay in the ball game as a new shortstop. shortstop. Number 35. Brandon Crawford. Reyes Maranta takes the mound as he'll be the first man to pitch here in extra innings. And Roto Escobar will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. The third baseman, number five, Eduardo Escobar. Here's the first pitch to him. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. and oh. Obviously, it's pretty deflating when you blow a lead in the bottom of the ninth, and now you're still fighting in extra innings. But the fact is, the game is tied, and a win is still very much a possibility, so they have to play that way. Line drive to left. And there's your go-ahead base runner right away as this is down for extra bases. And the throw in gets away from him. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Let's slow this one down and take another look. Great camera angle here. Looking straight down the left field line. You see him take that inside route to the ball. His hands stay back. And he goes oppo to find himself at second. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Carson Kelly. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind him because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strikeout here, so we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Now the 0-2 pitch struck him out. 
struck him out again, I should say, his third punch out of the game. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't now, get the bat off his shoulder the right there, and he struck out oh, twice before that one. Right. So he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. Ladies Seth and Beard will be attention. called upon Please. here to hit with the Please game on the, the line. Back. Number 30, Seth Beard. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. That's a Lays off two and two now. He stays alive, still two and two. Ready with another two strike offering. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Now, after back to back strikeouts, he's got a real good chance of making that leadoff double. Pretty much meaningless. He's made some good pitches, and these hitters have really failed driving him in, or at least getting him over. In now, Hildemaro Vargas. Fouled off. A couple of RBIs for him already, and a chance for more here. The 0-1 offering. Now a changeup in on the hands that evens it at 1-1. One one. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with two down. And it's fouled away. From the stretch, the 1-2. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. And he strikes him out here for round number three. So after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. So one will win it here as we go to the bottom of inning number 10. And we are all tied at three apiece. Silvino Bracho comes on to start the home 10th, and he's just hoping to get this one into the 11th inning. Silvino Bracho. Here's Billy Hamilton standing in. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Billy Hamilton. First pitch coming, here it is. Showing bunt here, but he takes ball one. The 1 0 home finds the zone, strike one. Braccio is a reliever known for forcing contact. Not a huge strikeout guy most of the time, but he also doesn't issue a lot of free passes either. There's a couple of keys to being a good reliever. One, if you have great stuff and you strike everybody out, or like this guy, not afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. He has good stuff, not great stuff. He's not afraid to let his defense help him out and make some plays. This has popped up. And he'll lunge forward to make the catch for the first out. The right fielder. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Hunter Pence. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. In there, and it's 0 and 1. You know, hats off to the pitcher right there. You got a great hitter at the plate. It's early in the count, and he wanted to get ahead. Nice challenge pitch right there. 
He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Oh, and he misses with it, 1-1. One and one. When you've got a guy that throws a good two-seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya! A solo shot here to left. And with one swing of the bat, this ball game is over. Hey, when you get into extra innings, you're always looking for that one guy to step up and be that hero. And this guy was the hero tonight. What does he do? Steps up with a walk-off home run to end this thing in extras. Well, we watched a really solid starting pitching performance, kept the opposition at bay, and as a result, he's our top player of the game. Yeah, he really stood out to me in this one, guys. Absolutely electric stuff on the mound, and he racked up 10 strikeouts because of it. Solid performance as he leads his guys to victory. Our final line score tonight. First.